Hello, um, today we're going to be talking about a strategy that talks about analyzing character motivation and how the character's motivation develops a theme for the text. And so this is really deep thinking. Um, even as English teachers, we were all kind of putting our heads together at this next step um, and needing to think through it. And so uh, we created a strategy that's a four-step process for you to accomplish this. And so number one, you're going to pick a major character in your story. Number two, think about what motivates the character, and you can use that sheet in your notebook. Number three, choose a theme for the book, and make sure that theme ties into the motivation. And then think about how does the character's motivation tie into the theme. Um, so I sat here for a while to think about this, and um, it did not come easy. You can see, I'm going to show you a nice pretty copy. So this is where I started. Like, first of all, I messed up and put responsibility. You know, it's going off the page and making me nuts. Um, but this was like my writing all over the place as I was thinking about it. Um, so nice pretty copy. Uh, step one. I chose a major character or a main character, um, and that was George. Again, we're using a Mice and Men as our example, as our mentor text. Um, step two, then, is to think of a motivation, something that motivates George. Um, I put down responsibility and duty was his um, motivation. I felt like he felt he was responsible um, for Lenny and had a duty to protect him. Um, step three, huh, I had to think of a theme, and so... I was thinking about friendship. I was thinking about um, uh, I was thinking about dreams. I was thinking about freedom. Um, I was thinking about women and um, how Carly's wife was treated. All of those could I could turn into a theme, um, but I am not talking about all of those. And so I was thinking, what about responsibility and duty can I think about for a theme? So I have the big idea, responsibility and duty, happens to be a character motivation, um, but it's more than just saying friendship, freedom. Um, you need to make a statement for your theme that's true to the story. And so my theme that I wrote down is being responsible is not always easy. Responsible was the big idea. I could say being responsible is super easy, um, but that wouldn't be true for the story. Um, and so making sure that you make a statement and it's true for the story. Um, and then you want to tie it all together. And so um, the tying it all together was where my crazy thinking was going as to how am I going to tie this together um, in writing. And so what I wrote down, I'm going to read to you what I wrote down. It's a little bit long, but this is the last thing that we're doing in book club. So it should be complex thinking um, to really tie in all your standards um, and get ready for your summative. So listen to how I was able to tie in theme, motivation, and character. A theme of mice and men is being responsible is not always easy. This can be seen in the major character, George. George is motivated by responsibility to Lenny. He feels he needs to take care of Lenny. Lenny has a disability and needs a caretaker. Somewhere in the past, this responsibility fell on George. Throughout the novel, George struggles to take care of Lenny. He always needs to protect and mentor Lenny. Clearly, George and Lenny appreciate each other, but it is not always easy. This is evident at the end, so my theme progresses throughout the story um, and my motivation, when George needs to make the ultimate choice of responsibility. So his motivation by shooting Lenny. He feels obligated to protect Lenny from suffering, even though it was an extremely difficult choice. So difficult choice ties into my theme. Being responsible is not always easy. So that was a lot of thinking and I um, have thought about, but I wanted to leave it pretty for this example, but I'm going to go in there and I'm going to actually underline and show where I'm putting motivation where I'm putting theme and how that's tying together into a statement. So deep thinking. Um, I have faith in you guys to be able to do this in your books, but you need to be willing to put forth the energy to do this because, like I said, I sat here for a while um, and like 20 minutes maybe and sketching things out and thinking how this will apply. 
um, and thinking how I can easily break it down for you into four steps on how to do it. So take the time, do this thinking, um, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask us.